We'll talk VPNs in a sec, but first let's talk about IP addresses. If you're a little fuzzy on what exactly an IP address is, go do a Google search for what is my IP and you'll see a bunch of numbers pop up. That's your IP address. And it tells every app, every site, everyone in the world basically where you're accessing the internet from, geographically I mean. In fact, think of it like a physical address that pinpoints which house on which street you live in. Now, a VPN, a virtual private network, changes the IP address that's shown to those same apps and sites that you visit. So, if you're in Memphis and you use a VPN, you can make it look like you're in New Orleans or Spokane or whatever. So, why would you want to do this? Well, some apps and services are highly dependent on geography. For instance, I'm a huge Seattle Mariners fan, and I will accept your condolences in the comments below. But anyway, I like to watch them on the MLB.TV app, but I can't do that if I'm in the Seattle TV market since broadcast rights there are with the local TV station. But if I can convince MLB.TV that I'm actually in Buffalo, New York, then I can watch the games on the app no problem. The same thing is in play with a lot of streaming TV services that offer local channels. You're a Denver native living in New York City and you want to watch your favorite local Denver stations on Hulu Live, a VPN will let you do that. That's not the only thing though. Because of the private in virtual private network, that also means you're gonna be more secure since hackers won't be able to access your devices and your data simply by getting onto the same public network. So how do VPNs do all this? I'm sure it's all very complex and that I don't understand any of it. So as far as I'm concerned, it's magic but it's probably only partly magic. I know it has something to do with routing your connection through a remote network to mask your real location, but that's as far as my understanding really goes. But this isn't really a technical explanation anyway. The whole point is that VPNs exist, they can help you stay safer online and do some things that you might not otherwise be able to do. As for how you use a VPN, it's, well, it's a service like anything else, and there are dozens or maybe hundreds of companies that you can use to get on a VPN. I won't go into any detail here, maybe in a future video, uh, but there is a list I like of a few top VPN providers from our friends at cutcabletoday.com, and I'll link to that report in the uh, description below. Bottom line, you'll probably spend between three and 10 bucks a month for a VPN service, depending on your needs. One last thing, this can all sound extremely shady to somebody who's unfamiliar with VPNs, but it is in fact 100% legal, so nobody's gonna come bust down your door if you decide you want to sign up with a VPN service. Anyway, let me know if you have any other questions, uh, head to the comments below, and of course be sure to like and subscribe on your way. Thanks for watching everybody, and we'll see you for the next video.